Hey guys, today we're going to be drawing a bookcase using two-point perspective. This is the preview of what we're going to be drawing, a bookcase on the side wall. Um, when you first start, you're going to draw a horizon line, and then you're going to establish your left and right vanishing point. Now, of course, if you have your grid from your two-point grid, you can definitely use that. Um, then you're going to draw the corner of the room. This is where I'm going to put my corner. And then I'm going to use your left and right vanishing point to draw the floor plane. So from the left vanishing point, I'm going to draw a line for the floor. And then from the left vanishing point, I'm going to draw a line um, for the ceiling. I'm going to draw the ceiling for the right vanishing point, and then the floor from the right vanishing point. So if you have a grid, you already have all this done already, but this is you know how to set it up. Uh, definitely use the grid if you can. Then you're going to do the floor, the footprint. You're going to use your left vanishing point, and then you're going to finish off the footprint using your right vanishing point. So again, if you have a grid, you're going to count the boxes. But this is the same steps. Now at every corner, you're going to go ahead and draw a construction line for the vertical plane. So at every corner, you're going to draw a long construction line. Um, and it kind of looks like a table that's upside down. So once you're done with that, you're going to determine the height, and you're going to go to the left vanishing point, use that same corner, and you're going to go to the right vanishing point. If you have a grid, again, you're just counting the height of the overall bookcase, and then it's the same kind of step. Okay. Then once you have the overall box, I'm going to go ahead and draw like the inside top of this bookcase. So there's that. To, well, to the left vanishing point and then the right vanishing point. So now you kind of see the overall size of the bookcase and the overall shell of the bookcase, but you don't have any detail lines. So the next bit is a bunch of detailing that we're going to do. I usually start by detailing <coughs> excuse me, the top. I have the profile for the top molding, and then I'm going to use my right vanishing point. I'm going to do the very top of the molding. I'm going to do a nice six long line. So at every kind of jiggy jog of the profile of the molding, I'm going to go ahead and draw that line to the vanishing point. So it looks something like this. Um, so the more complicated your profile, the more, com the more lines you have. Then I'm going to offset that same profile and, then, and erase any unnecessary line. And where that... Um, in occurs, I'm going to take it to the left vanishing point, and I'm going to go ahead at every line that I have drawn, I'm going to go ahead and draw a line to that left vanishing point, and that creates um, the molding at the very end. So um, I'm going to go ahead and clean that end part up, or clean it up, yep, that's what I'm trying to say, and that should be the top part of the bookcase. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw the bottom molding. Now again, if you have a reference image, you're going to look to see what your reference image is. But this, the one I have, has a top and a bottom molding. Um, so I do the profile first, as always, and then I'm going to use the vanishing point to kind of um, hit every groove. So this is to the right vanishing point. And then I'm going to mimic that profile. And then I'm going to finish the end of the um, base molding. So that line right there. And then where that intersection occurs at the corner, I'm going to go ahead and send it back to the left vanishing point at every one of the molding increments. And that gives you um, the profile for the base molding. And then I have my vertical line. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and erase the lines that I don't need so you can, can see the bookcase, the overall bookcase. And I'm going to harden the lines that I want to keep. And then I'm going to offset a line for the inside of the bookcase. So there's a thickness for the side of the bookcase and there's usually some kind of end cap piece. 
So once you do that, you can determine where your shelves are going to be. So there's the shelf one, two, and three, and four. So once I do that, I'm going to use the right vanishing point. And I'm going to go ahead and draw the thickness of each shelf. So here's the thickness for shelf one. Draw this line. Then the thickness for shelf two. The thickness for shelf three. And these are all coming from the right vanishing point. In two point in perspective, you're only going to use a left or a right vanishing point if your item is parallel or perpendicular to the back wall or you know to the side walls. All right, so you've got four shelves right now, but right now you don't have any depth to these shelves. So just notice that um, if you have a shelf that's above the horizon line like this, you'll see underneath. So you're going to go to the vanishing point, your left vanishing point, and then you'll see a very small amount on that one. This one you'll see the top, a very small amount of the top of the shelf, and then this shelf you'll see a larger amount of the top of the shelf. And then this one, because this is the furthest away from your eye, you'll see the most of the top of that shelf. Then you're going to use the opposite vanishing point at the intersection line. You'll see, and now you'll see the overall finished look of each of these shelves. So the closer it is to the horizon line, you'll see less of it. You can see there. Underneath this shelf, you see less of that. The further away you are from the horizon line, you'll see more. So that one is a, a lot more that you'll see uh, underneath that shelf. And then you can define the corner lines just a little bit more. And um, of course, when you're drawing a bookcase, you have to kind of think about the style. Of, like you're not going to leave it empty. You're going to think about what you're going to put on there. And everything that you draw also has perspective. And you're going to still use the same um, uh, vanishing point lines. I hope this helps you. And I will see you next time.